वेलकम इन टूडे सेशन वी विल टॉक अबाउट अ प्रोग्रामिंग स्किल दैट इज मच मोर फेमस इन आवर करिकुलम बुक्स आल्सो दैट हाउ वी कैन प्रिंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पैटर्न्स ऑन द स्क्रीन ऑन द कंसोल यूजिंग डेव सी प्लस प्लस और सी प्लस प्लस लैंग्वेज इज आवर कंसर्न सो लेट्स स्टार्ट बाय क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग डेव सी प्लस प्लस क्लिक ऑन फाइल मैन्यू सिलेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट ऑप्शन सिलेक्ट हेयर कॉन्सोल एप्लीकेशन सी प्लस प्लस प्रोजेक्ट एंड टाइप द project name while typing here pattern save the project file save the main file name as pattern okay these are the default line of codes that are already written in each and every dev c++ project we have already discussed this one multiple time we are going to include a using namespace standard namespace in our project this standard namespace is also discussed in our video lectures that is called c++ namespace you can also go through from the playlist of c++ first of all before starting the code we will i have i want to clear that in today session we will only discuss rectangular or square patterns and their variants how these patterns can be modified with minor modification in the source code there is no such kind of complexity to draw diamond patterns rectangular patterns triangular patterns basically these are the three kinds of patterns with the numerical or symbolic representations in today session we will discuss only rectangular or square patterns and later on in next sections we will also discuss the triangular or diamond patterns and their variants so let's start by understanding what we are going to learn today in today session we are going to learn about the patterns that are called square or rectangular patterns we have a clear look at this pattern this is the basically rectangular pattern in which there are rows and columns there are multiple rows and columns and in each row and column an asterisk is printed these are the basically rows and columns or we can also say this is matrix of symbols how we can print this matrix of symbols using c++ we have to use here nested loop so let's start by writing down the source code before wasting any time we have to declare two variables this is the good practice to declare these variables before writing the source code for patterns that are the in minimum and maximum limit of the patterns or square patterns each and every other rectangular or diamond patterns basically follow these rules min or max dimensions of the pattern after this specifying the dimensions we are quickly going to declare or write down declare variable counter variables and write down the loops we say here i is equal to min i is less than equal to max and i plus plus okay in the similar way we have required another loop because this is the matrix printing pattern printing is the matrix printer so we are required nested loop here we are writing down the inner loop where we can use an other variable let's say j k l m etc in nested loop inner loop and outer loop have a significant difference or philosophy for the pattern printing we are going to discuss this philosophy for the pattern printing what is meant by inner loop and what is meant by outer loop and these the purpose of these inner and outer loop in pattern printing each and every time the inner loop is used to print the symbols or characters and outer loop will always use to print the lines or to alter or change or switch to the lines because this outer loop is never used to print the characters okay if we want similar in the similar way we can observe here if we want to print the steric or square of steric as we have shown here we have to write down in inner loop the statement that we are going to print here we can also change other symbols and in outer loop we have to write down only until statement okay that will change the line as we have discussed before we have to 
if we have to want to change the lines in inner and outer loop the outer loop responsibility is to switch the lines okay so check this these lines of codes how these were, will work we can see here a wonderful representation or the required required representation of the pattern is printed on the screen this is called full app care symbolic pattern we can also change here symbol to print other symbols on the screen such as ampersand dollar or add symbol the similar symbol will be displayed on the screen we can see here this is the rectangle or we can say square of the symbol now we are going to switch to the other patterns if we want to print this type of pattern look close at this picture if we want to print this type of pattern what we will have to do as discussed before we have the matrix of rows and columns this is the matrix of rows and columns in which these are the columns and these are the rows if we want to print and min and max position basically this is the main position and this is the max position and this will compose up a square okay if you want to print such type of matrix what we will have to do we will have to put a condition on the printing inner loop we say that if i is equal to min or because steric or symbol is printing only on the min or max dimensions of the rectangle so we have to say if i is equal to min or i is equal to max or j is equal to min or j is equal to max then print steric else what will we print we will print just space okay let's check this line of code wow we can clearly see the inner sterics are not displaying at this time now what we will have to make if we want to print other patterns such as the cross in the rectangle what we will have to do we will have to do put a condition in the line of code for the printing here we will say that these are the okay let's first of all clear this concept what is going on these this line is basically x is equal to y and y is equal to or j is equal to max plus 1 minus i reciprocal of the x is equal to y okay i have to write down the code then we will also discuss it in detail we will say that if i is equal to j or j is equal to max plus 1 minus i then this matrix will be printed okay let's check this code we can see here clearly this cross is printed inside the transparent rectangle okay quickly we have to move to the next uh, pattern that is only a cross on the screen we can see here only a cross is printed on the screen how we can print this cross or pattern on the screen so let's just uh, we have to remove this condition of the transparent scale from the code we are saying that this is the from left to right cross line and this is from right to left cross line we just need these cross lines not the borders okay well done this is the cross printing on the screen if you want to print uh, uh, left to right or right to left line we can also demonstrate this only using these lines of codes we can see here this is the first line and if we remove i is equal to j then this will the cross perpendicular line or the second line of the cross 
what is the key idea we have to understand this in the entire session that we are just modifying just modifying the conditions to print different types of patterns on the screen only in the inner loop the responsibility of outer loop is to just switch the line as we have discussed before now if you want to print other scare patterns such as only the topmost or bottommost line what we will have to do we will have to just write down here if i is equal to max or i is equal to max or i is equal to min then just print this these lines okay this is the minimum and maximum lines of the pattern and what we will have to write down if we want to first or last column of the matrix then we will have to just change this j is equal to min or j is equal to max we can see here the left or right lines are just printing okay if we want to print alphabets rather than these symbols then we will have to write down here casting or type casting we will say here i plus 64 why we are writing here i plus 64 because 64 65 is the ascii value of the capital a so that it will turn in a b c d etc how much iterations these are required they are required we can see here okay we can also put the matrix full matrix of the letters or alphabets we are removing conditions we can see here a a b b c d if we want to a b c d in perpendicular form or in diagonal form we will have to change the condition or the variable values in the inner loop now we can see here and this is the portrait style a b c d a b c d a b c d etc this is the complete elaboration discussion about the pattern printing or rectangular pattern printing so nice keep watching subscribe our channel for the latest and in future we will discuss triangular and diamond print patterns using c++ thank you